Inflation is high, the economy is weak. Are you feeling the strain? Why, yes I am, LVMTG. That's why I'm making popper decks. Seriously, stop with the popper decks and the draft chaff commander decks. That means no more weak decks. I've got 10 creatures that are gonna really perform and not bankrupt you. First up, I have Sun Titan, one of those original giants from back in the day. It's gonna recur things from your graveyard and it's only 46 cents. You can't get recursion that cheap anywhere else. Tholia's Lancers is a five mana 4-4 four four with first strike, but that's not what makes it good. It's a tutor. It lets you tutor legendaries out of your deck. It's a tutor for 40 cents. Even though River Kelpie looks like an extraterrestrial's rendering of a pug, it's a great card. For 31 cents, you get a card draw engine for any graveyard deck. When permanents enter the battlefield from the graveyard, you get to draw a card. Next up, there's Mall Drifter. This card has been printed more than the US currency. Great thing about that, it's only 23 cents. It just lets you draw two cards when it ETBs. You just blink, 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 flicker. Lord of the Forsaken is a mythic rare that I had to add on the list. Most expensive card at 78 cents, but it's a sacrifice outlet and it lets you pay life to generate mana. Paying life to generate mana is one of the most broken things you can do. Geth Lord of the Vault, another budget recursion piece. It's only 24 cents. It's just going to let you steal artifacts and creatures out of your opponent's graveyards. So if they're playing those really expensive cards, you can play them too, but with the cost of only 24 cents. Next up, we have Runaway Steamkin. This elemental is going to help you generate mana by removing counters, and you generate counters by casting red spells. For 48 cents, you can have explosive turns. You don't need Jessica's will to dominate the board. Next up, we have Atali Primal Storm, a big threat for only 24 cents. Whenever Atali attacks, you get the steel cards from the top of their library and play them for free. Thanks for your Blight Steel Colossus. Next up, we have Verdant Force. It's only 24 cents due to a recent reprint. And at the beginning of every upkeep, you're going to make a 1-1 green sapperling. Show the table the power of the fungus, not the foot fungus, the fungus among us. Next up, we have our most boring card, Endraise Forerunners. It's a good impression of Crater Hoof Behemoth for only 17 cents. When it comes into play, pumps your board and lets you swing in for lethal. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you play some of these, or don't. I don't really care.